bringing vid iq versus tube buddy on the table we'll see among these tools which one would help us better to grow our youtube channel hey what's up my name is shivam before getting to the video if at any point you want to check these tools out then you can do so from the description below let's begin with the comparison between tube buddy and vid iq you also get their free version to access so get your hands on that firstly comparing their interface vid iq feels more intuitive and engaging to me me. On the other hand, TubeBuddy seems a little bit out of date, so you might not feel too good while navigating through it. In vidIQ, you can navigate seamlessly through all the features in your dashboard. When you open YouTube, on the top right corner, there is a vidIQ menu button. Just move your cursor and you can view real-time views per 60 minutes and subscriber accounts and much more in just one view. So you can easily monitor analytics in a single glance. TubeBuddy lags around somewhere. Now let's talk about the features they both offer. Starting with the keyword research feature which vidIQ and TubeBuddy both have. For vidIQ, on the left you get all the tools, click on keyword inspector, type a keyword in the search box and then you get search volume for that keyword and related keywords. Competitor scores is also there and related terms are also there. Same with the TubeBuddy, you can easily find relevant and high performing keywords for your video content. It provides search volume, competition and trends helping you create content that resonates with your audience. Next we have some advanced features in vidIQ like daily ideas, keyword tool, competitors tool, achievements and channel audit. Now channel audit has a lot to do with your channel. It shows you a crisp report how the viewers are resonating with your content. So you get an idea what type of content you should be creating further. Next we have is AI tools integrated with this plugin. You get AI ideas generator, title generator, and even content generator. Yes, add a phrase to the space and it will generate a script, a thumbnail and a title for your content. It also provides quick fixes for issues like video titles, description, tags, thumbnails and playlists. Overall, this tool serves as a personal YouTube consultant. What more can you expect? Ubuddy offers something like that. Hmm? I don't think so. Instead, let's begin our exploration of TubeBuddy's feature. It streamlines your workflow by enabling bulk processing options. You can update thumbnails, descriptions and cards across multiple videos with just few clicks, saving you time. It also allows you to schedule uploads and making it convenient to manage your content calendar. Also, do you see here? these features in this card that seems like features but these are just shortcuts to youtube studio itself however tubebuddy stands out because of its click magnet and ap testing feature click magnet is designed to know the content category your audience loves by doing this you can expand your horizon of niche and videos click magnet has power rankings element inspector click through rate opportunities and advanced analytics with power rankings you can see how your videos are doing based on clicks, watch time and CTR that is click through rate. Element Inspector checks out stuff like thumbnails and titles to figure out what drives the highest CTR. And with CTR opportunities, you can spot videos that have the potential for improvement in CTR. But that's not all. Advanced Analytics lets you group, sort and even export video performance data in ways that YouTube doesn't offer. So you get a deep understanding of how your content is doing. So this was it for the comparison of YouTube TubeBuddy and vidIQ, no doubt TubeBuddy has immense features to hop on. On the contrary, vidIQ is straightforward and much more responsive for beginners as well. It has daily ideas section from where you can plan your next videos. Channel audit is something that you can use to review your channel, whereas TubeBuddy only offers keyword research feature in terms of idea generation. Also, AI features of the vidIQ is impressive. I can confidently say that it's better to have both if you are falling for the free plan. But if you have a budget for one, then undoubtedly go with vidIQ. Personally, I use vidIQ for all my channels. I feel the features are unmatched. For the pricing, both offer free plans. But if you talk about paid plans, this is what the pricing of the vidIQ looks like. Pro plan at $7.50 per month. Features like daily ideas up to 10 count, competitors tracking, single trend alert. Then we have boost plan at $39 per month for increased limit of daily ideas to 50, competitors tracking to 20, trend alert to 5, 10, 15. Additionally, vidIQ keyword engine. Maximum cost $79 per month, but it's suggested for group 
creators only. Coming to the TubeBuddies plan, Pro plan at $4.99 per month, suitable for creators with fewer than 1000 subscribers. Legend plan at $31.50 per month, basically unlocking all the features for individual creators and agencies. Enterprise plan for brands seeking unlimited TubeBuddy tools, credited customer service and more is a custom plan suited for organizations. Now if you want to check any one of those out then you can do so from the description below. That's it from my side, I hope you guys found this comparison video helpful. If you still have any queries, you can leave them down below in the description. Until then, like, share, subscribe, stay safe. Bye-bye.